Hello guys, this time around, me and Little B are doing a video response to Happy Council Gamers, your most nostalgic game. And it was actually really hard to limit this down, because there's so many great games I have memories of, but I, I limited it down to yeah, less than 10, okay. And the first game, of course, is none other on the NES than Contra. Now this was a game, me and my best friend growing up, Justin, we would play this game for hours on end. You know, even after we beat the game, we'd go back. And it was the same way with Contra 2 and 3. We just kept going back and playing it over and over again. But this was a game we played for hours. Like, we could go through the first stage with no problem. And then, you know, obviously if you start off bad, you didn't get the gun you wanted in this game, you would do poorly. But still, love that game. This game, I've talked about this before, is none other than Ninja Gaiden. This game was so unique when it originally came out. Yes, the storyline is silly with what, what he's fighting and everything, but this, the point of the cinematics in this game, and, and, you know, again, it was like most NES games. You had to memorize the level. If you memorize the level, it was easy. Even today, I could sit down and play this game for hours. It just, just, I love this game. The next one, of course, is none other than Star Tropics. Now, back then, I also loved Final Fantasy. These two games, RPG-wise on the NES, were my favorite. Final Fantasy, when I originally got that game, I played that game for two weeks straight. And the only reason it took me two weeks to beat it was I couldn't find the rarest armor in the game. I ended up, only time I asked my mom to call Nintendo Power Hotline, which is no longer around. And they told me where it was, and I literally was not, like, one town over from it. I was really close. I was like, I couldn't believe I went there and I missed it. But Star Tropics was kind of a modern set RPG. It was so different. I remember reading about Nintendo Power and, and falling in love with it, also falling in love with the sequel. Uh, but I loved this RPG. The next one, quite frankly, was just its uniqueness. This is when Sunsoft was awesome, and it was none other than Blaster Master. Uh, yeah, I the car parts weren't very fun in this game, but simply, you know, how original this game was, you know, it's silly. In fact, it was your your frog, you know, your radioactive frog jumped out a hole and you're going to find it. It was just su such original game at the time, and you did so many different modes. It, and yeah, it was hard, but it still was a lot of fun, especially the car part. I love the car parts of this game. Now, the other game I have to mention is quite simply Super Mario Bros. 3. That is my favorite game of all time. That is the pinnacle of, to me, the NES at the time. When that game came out, I played that game, beat that game, you know, within a week, and still played that game years afterwards, until the day when I put it, I could play it for hours. You remember, you remember watching me play that game, don't you? Yeah. Yes. But this is another one I have to talk about. Me and my best friend played a lot. And that is none other than Rad Racer. And yes, everybody remembers this is in the movie The Wizard using, you know, the whole power glove. But when this first came out, it looked so amazing. And we had fun. I mean, my best friend played this game for hours against each other, you know, racing each other so you could win all the time. It was a really, really fun game. Now we're going to move on to the Super Nintendo for me. And this is... He's got a Super Nintendo game for later, but mine is none other than, quite simply, F-Zero. Having a futuristic racer at the time, and, and as hard as it is where you couldn't make a mistake, or you basically lost the race in this game, even though it was so hard, I loved it. Even though you couldn't make a mistake, I loved it. Just how uniqueness of the characters, and how each car, you know, looked different, and how, it, even you know, even though they were using the mode, you know, the mode in that game, especially mode of Super Nintendo, it was just a cool game, and I loved, loved this game. Now, i got to give the PC some love for this, and this is one of my favorite PC games of all time. And yet, even only on the PlayStation 1, and it is Wing Commander 3, Heart of the Tiger. Now, I originally saw this game at my cousin's house. He just got it day one. I never heard of Wing Commander at that point, and I couldn't believe the cinematics in this game. I couldn't believe the graphics of this game. And I loved the story of this game. And, of course, it had Mark Hamill, which I love Star Wars, so I had to get this game because he was in this game. You know, also, you know, of course, Malcolm McDowell and Jane Rice Davies and you know, just a lot of actors I liked at the time. And it was just an unbelievable game with unbelievable graphics. You know, like Hollywood style. You know it says on the back, Hollywood style. And the Kill Ra were just such a great enemy that I loved it. And I also loved the fourth one, too. But we're going to mention the games that I sat and watched my wife play, and they're on the PlayStation 1. Now, the first one 
This is the game she got when she got the system, and that was Treasures of the Deep. And I'm going to put this down as a nostalgic moment, but not a good one, because this game was frustrating because it was inverted controls. And I played it because, you know, everybody had a hard time playing it, and, you, and I was playing it as in the fact of you could it was hard to play, and I wanted to learn how to play it, but I got so frustrated I quit. And then I have memories of playing this game, just not necessarily good memories. But I did watch my wife play two games specifically on the PlayStation 1. Legend of Dragoon and Lunar 1. I watched her play those two RPGs. Lunar 1, two, or Legend of Dragoon, for two weeks, she was she was on vacation, and she played that game, and for two weeks I came home from work every day and watched her play that game and just, you know, loved the RPG. You know, you know what I'm talking about. You've never seen her play that game. <laughs> I know. And then, uh, of course, Lunar, which was, the first one was amazing. It's funny, is we had Lunar 1 and Lunar 2, the collections, and she beat Lunar 1, and she never touched Lunar 2. Lunar 2 was such an awesome story, you know, to see anime, you know, anime cartoons in that game, and a great RPG. But now it's time to move on to your two nostalgic games. Yes. And the first one is on the Super Nintendo, and it is Super Mario World. Now, I'm going to start off before he talks real quick, is that I was playing this game on my Super Nintendo one day. He had seen me watch it. He wanted to play it. And so you sat down and played it. Yeah. And who's your favorite character in the game? Yoshi. Because, like, you get to ride on him. And that's, like, cool. Yeah, so you get to, like, swallow the apples and enemies. Yeah. And spin it back out. Yeah. Like, that's the part you like the most about the game. Do you like the jumping in the game? Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. Now, we're going to get to his second favorite game. Because this game... Is a game the first actually video game he ever actually played, and it's I'll show it in the camera real quick. And it's Sonic the Hedgehog and the Genesis, because I had this hooked up, and he just, he just fell naturally in love with Sonic. He played the first level of this game so much that actually, when we got Sonic Generations, when the demo of Sonic Generations came out, because the first levels were so the same, he played the demo of Sonic Generations fifty times. That first level, because it was just like the original Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. Uh, he's gotten, you know, really far in this game. You got, of course, to the whole, you know, got, got a great score to get to the secret level yeah. at the end of the round and bounce around like a pinball. Yeah. Machine. What do you like most about Sonic the Hedgehog? It's like, I like playing it because, like, I get to go faster and faster. Like, you hold the X button on... The Xbox, and then it's like... Eh. Well, that's the Xbox version. What do you like with the Genesis version? Do you like the speed? Yeah. Do you like like the, you like the secret level with the pinball where you bounce around? Yeah. You like that stuff? No, so great. Now, we did try Sonic 3D Blast, pinball. and he does not like that game at all. And so, not surprisingly, but those are your favorite games, right? Yeah. So. And mostly, I do some more, like, a ton times. More and more and more of the Sonic Generations. No, no, it's not. Nice. Yeah, the sheer level. No, you, you got frustrated because you got like the yeah. third level of that game. Mm -hmm. And you know, the water level, the second level uh, kind of frustrated you because you, mm -hmm. you, the controls were like, you know, the controls you move slower in the water and you had to do it with a certain time. Yeah. You did like the Sonic Avenger parts of that game, though, where you just yeah. run straight, you know, no platform. Yeah, but I don't like that water so hard. I don't know. So, guys, that is our response to Happy Council Gary's most nostalgic games. So, if you, we'll put a link to this video below. Definitely go check it out. And we'll talk to you guys for another video soon. Yep. <laughs> Bye and for now. That's it. That's it.